Hi there, and welcome back to the Gear for Music Synth and Tech channel. My name is Rick, and today I am joined by these two powerhouse digital mixers by Behringer. On this side, we have the X32 Compact, and this is the mixer that we've all grown to know and love. It's really grown a great reputation for itself, and it is one of the highest selling digital mixers of all time. On this side, we have the new Wing Compact by Behringer, and what we're gonna do today is we're going to compare the two, if you've got an X32, we're going to see if it's going to be a great option for you to upgrade to the wing. If you're looking at both of these consoles, we may be able to make that decision a little bit easier for yourself. But first, let's check them both out. So starting with inputs, both of these consoles do include Midas preamps. On the X32 Compact, you've got 16 XLR inputs, and they are just your standard Midas preamps. And then on the Wing Compact, you've actually got 24 inputs, and these are using the Midas Pro preamps. So these just have a little bit more detail to sound, but they are also combi inputs. So that's gonna be better suited if you've got XLR and jack inputs in your rig. So when it comes to the X32 Compact, it includes 40 mono channels. Then jumping up to the wing, it includes 48 stereo channels. So that has really greatly increased. And the faders on here are customizable as well. So you can get a single stereo channel and put it through one fader. It really is just giving you a lot more flexibility in a smaller space. Speaking of faders, the X32 Compact includes 17 faders on the front here. That is split up into eight input, eight output, and then you've also got your master fader here. You can then switch between your inputs by selecting here, and then you can select through your outputs by selecting here. Moving over to the Wing Compact, as you can see, you do have less faders. You've got 12 on the front here and then your master fader, and then you've got your layer fader selections here. So you can select which layers and what faders of your inputs are coming through. The other really great benefit about the Wing is you've got these user fader layers here, and you can create these specific to your mixing needs with different inputs and different outputs, which is gonna make your mixing really easy. The other fan favorite thing about the X32 Compact are these eight assignable buttons. So say for instance, if you hit this button here, you may be able to bring up a monitor mix that's going to make it a lot quicker and easier to select that output. Or as you can see here, these are flashing. This is setting your tap tempo for your delay. Nice and easy and you can really get that on the fly. Moving over to the wing, we do have 16 of these assignable buttons. So realistically, that is just going to cater for every need that you may have with this desk. When it comes to expanding your consoles, the X32 does have two AES50 ports. So that means that you can add two external stage boxes into this, giving you a total of 40 mono inputs. It does also have the alternate connection on the back, so it is able to be used with your Behringer personal monitoring system for people who like to have a bit more of a tactile in-ear monitoring experience. When it comes to the wing, it's a little bit of a different beast when it comes to your inputs. And it does include three AES 50 ports, which is giving you an extension of 144 inputs. Now, keep in mind that the wing compact does include 48 stereo channels or 96 mono inputs at any time, considering that each channel can be stereo you can utilize different stage boxes and it will just save you time in changeovers between bands. When it comes to personal monitoring systems, the Wing does utilize the Stage Connect protocol, which is giving you 32 channels. And this will also give you the opportunity to use other types of devices that utilize the Stage Connect technology in this console. When it comes to both of these consoles, I think the main standout thing that you can see is the screen. Now, on the X32 Compact, it does include a 7-inch color screen, and this will actually change in comparison to which parameters that you select. So say, for instance, if you're on channel 1, you can see your EQ information, dynamics, and gate, and these can all then be controlled by these tactile knobs. So it is a little bit more like your traditional mixer. When it comes to the wing, it's a little bit more of a modern approach, and this can be seen in this beautiful 10.1 touch screen. So you can actually change your parameters by touching the screen. You've also got these touch sensitive encoders here, so you can have a modern and also familiar mixing experience. 
When it comes to recording and door integration, both of these consoles have got you covered. When it comes to the X32, there is a USB port on the back of it, which is going to give you 32 ins and outs, so you can make sure that all your performances are fantastic every night. When it comes to the wing, it's a little bit more expanded. You've got 48 inputs through that USB. That being said, included with the wing is the wing live expansion card, which will let you utilize two SD cards. So this can help you to record directly to an SD card without the use of an external computer. So this is also perfect for one, recording your performances and making sure that you're sounding fantastic, but it also gives you the opportunity to use this to do a virtual sound check. So when it comes to effects, both of these consoles have got you covered and they've got emulations of classic live hardware, but also hardware that can be used in the studio. So with the X32, it does include more than 40 effects, and these can be placed into your eight different effect slots. The first four have got a little bit more flexibility where you can use these as a side chain, you can use them as an effect send, or you can use them as inserts on specific channels. That being said, the final four, they are just used as inserts. With the wing, it really is a step up when it comes to your effects section. And this can be seen in your effects rack here. So you've got your standard effects, which is going to be your compression, modulation, and EQ. And then you've got your premium effects. And this is gonna be your emulation of your classic rack-based gear. All of these effects can be used in pre and post fader, and they can also be inserted on every input and output on the desk. So this makes it such a game changer. The Wing Compact also has five times the DSP that the X32 Compact has. So this means it is such a powerhouse and it is going to help you through every scenario. The other thing that the Wing Compact has in comparison to the X32 is rack ears that can be put in three different positions. So this means it can be put into more of a portable rig and it can stay set up and that is going to be saving you time to focus on mixing rather than setup. So with all that being said, the X32 still does stand out as an amazing console. And there is a reason as to why it is one of the highest selling digital mixers of all time. When it comes to the wing, it really is a step up and it caters specifically more for a modern mixing technique. So this can be seen in the routing options, in the effects, and also in the additional connectivity. Me personally, I just love the overall aesthetic of the Wing Compact. I love this black finish with the metal chassis. I really like the wooden armrest. It's just a nice little touch, but the standout thing has to be the touchscreen. It's really responsive and it is just taking it a step up when it comes to a mixing environment. So if you've got any more questions about the Wing Compact, or maybe you've got a story about the X32, make sure you put it in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As for me, my name is Rick. I'll see you next time.